close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing. Try to keep your attention right there at the sensation of the body, movement of the body as the breath comes in, the breath goes out. Because when we talk about breath here, it's not just the air coming in and out of the lungs. It's the movement of energy through the body that allows the air to come in and go out. And that movement can be felt in almost any part of the body. It involves your whole nervous system. So think of it bathing the body with a sense of well-being. If deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, then you can change to shorter breathing or more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to feel what feels good right now. Try to figure out what feels good. And if you're not sure, well, experiment for a bit to see what different kinds of breathing will do for you, and then you can choose. This is an important principle in training the mind, is you have choices. If we didn't have choices, there'd be no point in training the mind. It would just act like a machine. It was programmed in one way, it just run along with the program. But we have this ability to look at our actions and see the results and decide we don't like the results and we can change our actions. That's an important principle. When the Buddha taught his son, the very first thing he taught his son about the Dharma was you look at your actions. One, be truthful, and then two, look at your actions. And if they're causing results that you don't like or, you're, or they're harmful to yourself or harmful to other people, change what you're doing. So we do have this element of choice. So the question is, how are you using your choices? Are you choosing well? Are you choosing poorly? It really does make a difference. Poor choices can lead to suffering. Good choices can lead to happiness. So try to take advantage of this opportunity. And one of the reasons we train the mind is so it be clear and mindful and alert so you can see the choices you have. Because sometimes we just go on automatic pilot. We don't realize what's happening. You just think, well, that's just the way things are. Well, they don't have to be that way. We can change. And it's through changing, through learning from our mistakes and learning also from the times we've done things right. That's how we grow. That's how the, that's how the Buddha himself found the path to awakening, by testing things and seeing where his choices were making, were creating obstacles for him and where he could change. So this, take advantage of this quality of the mind to see its actions and change, to choose a new way of acting, because that can take you very far. <laughs>